So another type of excellence question involves simultaneous equations. So in this case we'll be given some information, but there'll be two things that we can't figure out, but we'll be able to write at least two equations. When this happens we have to do a little bit of simplifying, but um, we should be able to use our calculator as well to do the solving. Betty collects seashells. Each month the number of shells she adds to her collection increases by the same amount. So that right there is my hint that this is going to be an arithmetic sequence. After five months, Betty has a total of 165 shells, so thinking about that. Total, that's a hint for me that I'm dealing with a sum. So after five months, her sum is going to be 165. And on the 14th month, she collects 132 shells. Okay, so the 14th month she collects that many shells. That's not the sum anymore, that's actually my t-value for 14 is going to be 132. And they want to know in what month will she have a total of 2,010 shells. So what we're looking for is in what month do I have this? Okay, <clears throat> so you'll notice unlike the easier problems that we've looked at, we have no information about A or D, and we don't really have any way to find that either. So what we have to do is write some equations out. So if I look at writing an equation for this first bit of information I've been given, I'm going to have 165 is equal to 5 over 2 times 2 times a plus 5 minus 1 times d. And that's using my sum formula. Again, n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 d. So substituting in what I know. And here, I don't know a and I don't know d, but I have an equation. And for t14, doing a similar thing, knowing that the formula for tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. So t14 becomes 132 a plus 14 minus 1 times d. Okay. So those are the two equations that we're going to use, and we just need to simplify them so we can plug it into a calculator. So I'm going to leave the 165 where it is for now, and the first thing I'm going to look at doing is simplifying this number up the front. So I have 2.5 dividing 5 by 2, bracket 2a, 2 times a, plus 5 minus 1 is just 4, so 4d. And here I can simplify this one, 132 is equal to a plus 14 minus 1 is 13d. Okay. Um, now going one step further here, we need to do a little bit of expansion that you might remember from using brackets. So that 2.5, we need to times through to both of these terms inside. So 2.5 times 2 is going to give me 5a, and 2.5 times 4 is going to give me plus 10d. So again, 2.5 times 2, 2.5 times 4. And this is still equal to 165. So both of these equations, you'll notice I have some information with an A, some information with a D, and an answer. I have an answer, information with A, information with D. So to use these, the last step is that we want to take what's the equal side and just draw it on the other side, just so we can get it in the right order for the calculator. So here I'm going to have 5a plus 10d is equal to 165, just moving that equal sign to the other side. And this equation is going to be a plus 13d equals 132. Now one thing to point out on this equation first, there's a number in front of that a that we need to know, and if you don't see a number in front of a letter, remember you should be thinking this is an invisible 1, so that's really 1a plus 13d equals 132. So these are the two equations. We have them simplified into a form that we can use, and now we can use our calculators. So if you grab your graphics, go to Menu, and then to Equation. Um, oops, not that one. You're going to hit Simultaneous, F1, Simultaneous Equations. And there's two unknowns, because we have an A and a D we don't know, so we click on F1 for two unknowns. And what it's asking us to do is put in the numbers in front of the letters for each of these things. So we're going to enter in the numbers in the order that we see them. We see a 5, we see a 10, 
and we see 165 for the first equation. Again, 5a goes into the first spot, 10d goes into the second spot, and 165 goes into the third spot. And then our other equation, we see a 1, remember that was the invisible 1 in front of the a, we see a 13, and we see 132. Okay, so we've entered in the co coefficients to these equations and what they're equal to into our solver, and we can click on solve. And voila, it gives us some information. What that is actually telling me is this first term, the x up here, that's the first term in the equation, and in the way we've written it, a is the thing that comes first. So a is actually equal to 15, and b is equal to 9. So using simultaneous equations, we've found that a is equal to 15, and b is equal to 9. Sorry, not b, d, for our difference. So using these two equations with the two unknowns, we now know a is equal to 15 and d is equal to 9. Okay, so in the first month she had 15 shells and she collects 9 more than she did each month. So um, in what month will she have a total of 2,010 shells, looking at this last part of the answer? So using our sum equation, we are looking for an SN um, when it equals 210. We don't know N, N over 2 times 2, but now we know A, 2 times 15 plus N minus 1 times 9 bracket. And we can put this straight into the calculator just as we see it and solve for N. Um, in the calculator, this is just the part we're putting in just that part. So let's give it a try. This time we are still going to be using equation, but we are going to use solver and enter in exactly what we see. So 2010 equal to something we don't know divided by 2 times bracket 2 times 15 plus bracket x minus 1 bracket times 9 and hit solve. Syntax error. There we go. 20. Okay. So remember when you're solving with the sum equation, we can check to see if there's two solutions for this. So 20 is our first solution. Let's just um, hit repeat and check something else. Try a really big negative number. Solve it again. Maybe that one's not working. Okay, so my calculator's not playing nice. Um, I'll just try a different number in here. Right. Well, if you remember, you're supposed to try a few different ones. You should see a second solution come up, but it will be negative. So, in fact, that first solution that we had of 20 will be the correct solution. So here, n equals 20. So on the 20th month, she will have that many shells. And we want to know, um, well, that's it, really. We know that it will be 2,010 shells. So that's our answer. Um, again, setting up the two equations that you know. S5 and T14. You'll notice that there's two things we don't know, an A and a D, but if you simplify it and get it something A plus something D is equal to, and something A plus something D is equal to, we can put that into solver, putting it, the numbers in just in the order that you see them, and it will give you out the answer A first and then D. And from that, we can then substitute that A and the D into our sum formula and figure out the final answer they were looking for.